A couple of weeks ago, Louisiana farmers and ranchers took a tour across the beautiful state of Arkansas. On the trip, they got to see many unique beef operations. And this week, Twyla's Carl Wiggers shows us how one family farm has overcome tough times on their farm with some creative thinking, community support, and a lot of hard work. When you pull up to Big D Ranch, there isn't much to distinguish this place from many others in Arkansas. Most farms here have poultry houses that are surrounded by beef cattle. Philip and Beth DeSalvo built these poultry houses in 2003. This allowed Philip to come home and make a living on the farm. The poultry houses paid the bills, but these ultra black cattle are what Philip loves even more. So I have a, truly have a passion for what I do here, and it is the bovine cow. Like many in Arkansas, Philip always kept beef cattle in the pastures surrounding his houses. However, five years after these poultry houses were built, things changed quickly for the DeSalvo family. In May of 08, we had an F4 tornado come through our property. And then in August of 08, our chickens were approximately seven weeks old, and we would normally keep them for about nine weeks. And at, at about that seven week mark, they came and they told us that more or less they handed us our pink slip. They said, after this batch of chickens, it's over, it's done, and, and y'all will not be getting chickens anymore. So at the time that 08 went, we were very small seed stock, primarily commercial cattle. So we really needed a place to background our cattle and to put more efficient gains on them and stuff. Philip now had a growing ultra black herd and some empty poultry houses. That is when he decided to think outside of the box. Doing a lot of studying in the northern part of the U.S. with their hoop barns and stuff, I decided what better thing to transfer into a hoop barn than the existing poultry houses that we had. So we transitioned them a little bit and made them more suitable for that. We can wean our calves in them. The kids will put their show calves in them. We've utilized the one. We've got our working facilities under roof with lights now, which is a huge plus. The DeSalvos also host their annual sale each fall right here in a poultry house. This hasn't been the most ideal path, but it's the path that brought Philip back to his passion. It's been a slow growth since then, but it, we've, we've maintained to be on our track. It just ramped up how fast we got there. This plan Philip is following began way before these poultry houses were even built. So it's not something that's happened overnight. It's something I've, I've worked on since the hell I graduated high school. I mean, it's something I've been working on for 20 years. Uh, the downfall of, of Pilgrim leaving us was just uh, put it in the fast forward is all that did. Uh, the plans were always there. Philip said the ultra black Brangus cattle that he breeds are really gaining a lot of popularity in Arkansas. He said that five years ago his neighbors were asking what an ultra black was, and today those same neighbors are adding those genetics into their own herd. Well, that stop happened on the last day of the trip, but one of the first stops on the trip was to the Arkansas Farm Bureau office. There, the group of Louisiana farmers and ranchers were greeted by Arkansas President Randy Veach. He gave an overview of the state's agricultural scene and previewed a few of the stops the group would later make in the trip. Veach says that trips like these are important because it allows farmers to get outside of their own state and build relationships with their neighbors. What we'll find is most of the time that we'll have some different issues, but we'll also have a lot of common issues. And what's important for us now in agriculture, if we're going to keep agriculture strong and sustainable, then we have to be profitable and we need to all work together. So we've got to have discussions, we've got to be together, we've got to, we've got to learn from each other. And we can do that with these trips because it's going to take all of us working together to keep agriculture going. Beach mentioned that our states share in the huge economic impact that agriculture has in each of our states. He and the rest of the staff at Arkansas Farm Bureau were great hosts to our group all week. And to see more pictures from the visit and the rest of the trip, head over to our website at twilatv.org. And Kristen, I cannot say enough about these trips. Mm -hmm. I went on the Mississippi trip last year and this trip this year. And one of the things that I love about it is you get to see some very unique operations. Mm -hmm. You get to see some great scenery. And my favorite is the food. Great food. I like that y'all got to see a wide variety of different breeds of cattle. You saw Angus, Brangus, and Charley, it looked like. So it was a good experience of all the different types of cattle. It is. You see, it, see a wide variety. And also, I cannot say enough about the hospitality of the Farm Bureau there in Arkansas. They, the, the membership there, the, the local board members from Conway County fed mm -hmm. us some steaks that I think were bigger than all every plate that was there. It was pretty, pretty nice. Well, it looked like a great trip. Carl Wiggers, awesome stories.